Hi, friends. Hello. How are we all today? We're uh, just jumping in here. No build up this time. No waiting. We're just gonna jump right in. Uh, I hope you guys have been fantastic this week. I really do. Um, we've been uh, we've been okay. Um, work's been interesting, to say the least. Um, I'm not going to get into too much what's been happening with me at work, but suffice to say that my boss um, and I have uh, different opinions on things. And uh, as such has brought some interesting issues. But we've been pretty good. Uh, I've been having a good time with everything, so I'm glad that you can... Uh, join us today uh we're gonna get uh, several things hopefully done today on persona uh as as we said last time we've got like two months worth of uh in-game content no i don't want to sleep go fuck yourself um we're going to sleep obviously uh last time we found out that the guy died um uh, Okumara, Umara Foods, I don't remember how it's pronounced. Also, I'm, oh, there it goes. I was like, why is the music for this cutscene not playing? On your feet, inmate. I don't wanna. Our master has an important matter to discuss with you. First. I'd like to congratulate you for expelling the one proud of their greed. Or so I'd like to say, but something odd seems to have happened. What happened? <laughs> That's the real Who question. Knows? However, don't you sense it? The malicious will of another? It seems a contingency has occurred. At this rate, your rehabilitation cannot be completed. Though I doubt that will be the case. I truly look forward to seeing how you overcome this predicament. Ah, so he's basically saying, clearly there's somebody else at play here, you're fine. <laughs> Thank you, Master All right. Igor. We shall meet again. Time's up in- home. <laughs> Nobody wants you here. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, we lost. Uh, we're definitely going to lose a lot of, uh, a lot of followers with death. Is that true? Mm, I never imagined seeing a heart attack with this unsettling. This is because of illness, but either way, it's been still bizarre. Wish I'd seen it live. Listen this time, okay? And this is literature writing, but the word. Did you see the interview? I thought it was going to be some hidden camera shot at first. So scared. Change the chair. It really looked like he was in pain. That was sick. Can you quiet down? Not to mention, you have midterms. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Step your lumps and shut it! <laughs> Seems police have shown up at our school. Police? Your sister hasn't told you about any of this. Nothing. But if you're related to Kuruma's death, there's no connection between our school and Kuruma. If we came to talk to Haru, she's absent. But seriously, what are they here for? Can't even begin to fathom. Anyway, let's be particularly careful about the stand and head straight home. Understand? No, I want to go poke at the police. I'll be like, what the fuck are you here for? <sighs> we haven't to... found anything useful. Oh, good. As this isn't just uh, me speaking. I see. <sighs> we we're hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Thank you for your cooperation. Speaking? Huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office, too. There's no way. Yes. I'm 
sorry to ask again, but your right. father hadn't said anything about the family. So, so the real solution here is to put calling cards all over the place. You can buy them now. Okay. So we just start putting calling cards in random places. Okay. It'll downplay the, uh, the Phantom Thieves' role in things. Sure. But, like, that, <laughs> there's... It's a very easy tactic at this point to just start shoving calling cards in random places at random times with nothing occurring from. That's right. Please contact me if something catches your attention. It you don't have to force yourself though. Just anything that comes to mind. The principal? No one told me about that. We did not do the principal. <laughs> if you were wondering at home, that was not us. So basically, your group didn't go after Okumura's life. And even the death of Shujin's principal, who we found a calling card for, was the work of another. <sighs> you don't sound like you're lying. If you wanted to deceive me, you could have easily woven up a much simpler lie than this metaverse. I'm glad she recognizes that, like, there's a simpler way to do this. Moreover, your account coincides with my own investigation. Is that even possible if it were made up? And I hate to admit, but with my line of work, I know a false testimony when I hear one. Still, if you set your sights on Okumura based on my intel, it'd be before his name was even ranked. You could have ignored him and targeted some other famous person. Why would you go so far as to further investigate and pursue this criminal? He mate was in danger. <laughs> Simple enough. There's still no proof that another suspect exists. That said, it's safe enough to say that you aren't the murdering type. Oh, yeah, we're All right. halfway through the game at least. But with the subsequent deaths of Okumura and Shujin's principal, the public's opinion changed. Pressed to prove your innocence, your next objective was... Hmm? <gasps> Is it a side effect? What in the world did the police inject into you? Hey, hey, can you hear me? Yeah. You need to stay focused. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. What you're saying is true. You must tell your side of the story to the end. We'll both be in trouble if your testimony becomes unreliable. Oh. Well then, let's at last we arrive at your most recent crime. You know what I mean, don't you? This calling card was delivered to your latest target. The one you had decided would prove your innocence. It was addressed to Sai Nijima. Myself. Now... Explain everything to me. Oh, well, we probably wouldn't have had her change of heart. Summary of this story has been summed up to this point. Is anyone in contact with Haru? I'm worried. Now look, me neither. She won't pick up. Doesn't look like she's seen any of her chats. I'm worried. Go, Mora, Kana. Go find her. It is your duty now. Uh, All right. Well. Uh, Once again, our day is wasted. We are unable to do anything. We gotta go sleepies. I gotta click X a bunch of times. Public opinion drops. Yeah. Oh, okay. My apologies. Things have calmed down, so I thought there was something I need to tell you. Are you alright? Yes. Thank you. Actually, there was something that caught my attention. I think I need to discuss it with everyone. Meet at the high after school. 
Look how everybody's managing. Okay, let's meet with everyone after school. This preparations are finally in place. The public has praised them as allies of justice before they strike them back to the ground. Now then, she'll be next. Yes, I've already spoken to human resources about it. It will be a heavy responsibility, but I'm certain it'd be an honor for her. The culprits behind the mental shutdown cases she's been pursuing all this time. <laughs> Indeed, they'll become the criminals we've set them up to be. the one that called us, so... Well, even though things have calmed down, she must be occupied with what happened to her father. Wait, what? But what's up? People are posting that we killed President Okumura! Yeah. So it's begun already. What? Think about it. The CEO collapsed the way he did during an apology conference that our group caused. Still, they were raving about us so much, and now they just treat us like murderers. Yeah, I was gonna say, real fans would recognize that up to this point, nobody has been killed or died or anything, and there have been very heinous crimes. So, like, it, it seems that if anybody was actually paying attention to our works and were real fans, they recognize that we that is not our uh, our shtick. What a lightning fast change of attitude. They don't know a damn thing about our situation. Calm down. Not everyone is necessarily saying that. Right. Mikado is right. But... but there's no way to vindicate ourselves. <clears throat> Haru! I'm sorry I'm late. I'm the one who asked you all to make time for me, too. My condolences. Must be rough. I'm okay now. Um... I called everyone together because there was something worrying me. Did you all target the principal? Huh? The principal? You mean ours? Yes. What makes you say that? Yesterday, a public prosecutor came to my home. Um, it was a woman named Nijima-san. That's... I overheard her saying a calling card was found in the principal's office. Before it, everybody will be shocked. Right after what happened, it's got to be Shujin's. It's the first I've heard of it. Doesn't this all seem weird to you? It may just be my imagination, but I feel as if things are escalating far too quickly after President Okumura's incident. What do you mean? Perhaps we may have been set up by the real culprit. For real? That could be. Then we need to catch them as soon as possible. Hold a moment. Can we assume we've been set up, though? We don't even know their objective. What else are we supposed to do, then? Let's all calm down for a moment. From what Haru said, even the police are suspecting that the Phantom Thieves are murderers. It wouldn't be wise to carelessly make a move at the moment. We need to act as normal students for now. In addition, we have midterms next week. Exams? At a time like this? <sighs> I envy you, Futaba. Futaba? Hmm? Got something on my mind. Gonna go home and look into it. I wonder what that could be. At any rate, we need to behave and not draw attention to ourselves. Understood? I want to just point out that we didn't deny that we killed the principal. Like, we know we didn't, but we didn't, like, calm that for Haru. We were just like, 
we were set up, what the fuck? Like, not, not that we, uh, we did, like, this has escalated too quickly. Which implies it, but doesn't outright say it. Should've been like, no! For real? Why are people doubting the penalties over what happened? No, they'd never do such a thing, isn't that right? Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, it seems like everyone's forgotten all they've done up to this point. Won't stop me, I'll continue cheering. I'm sure you tell them that. We'll see you later. Well, Mishima never said it, but deep down it's a good person. You can't betray him. We, we have it. We, we're, we're good friends with him, it's fine. <laughs> all we can do is sleep. Sorry for worrying. I won't be able to respond. I'm doing all right. We're worried about the people at the company. Everyone's having difficulty with not only clients but press. Or even handling the preparations for the funeral. I just feel so guilty that I'm unable to help. You should everyone understands this is a trying time. And we're here if anything happens. Don't push yourself. I don't think the conversations on the phone really do anything, but... Impossible. What the hell they kill him during a press conference? Somewhere that Kumara raised his daughter alone. Maybe he wasn't a great manager, but as a parent, I feel for him. Ordering someone to make a point to textbook terrorism. Shido and that catchy kid said he fancies himself with men. <laughs> So, does anyone have an idea? Of course not. If I were to guess, I would say the culprit behind the mental shutdowns. But how do you even know it got set up with a phone calling card? So, yeah, like, come on, Ryuji. You're the one that has to be earlier. What the fuck? Someone else had to find it, obviously. Risk case scenario, it's possible they know our identities. It's bad. Yeah, seems to have the point. Let's prove our innocence! How are we going to do that? Our only choice now is to find the truth of the birth. Although, we don't have any leads. So damn it, why is this got to happen to us? <sighs> Wish we could prove our innocence, but we can't afford to make dumb mistakes. Just have to keep laying low. Hey, sorry to bring this up. Things are chaotic. I know it's been tough and all, but it's a perfect chance for small changes of heart. Anyway, here's some info. It's true, it's pretty crazy. Apparently an ex-mercenary who works for an assassin is hiding out in Shibuya. He acts a homeless person during the day, but then goes and does his work at night. He hasn't left any traces, so they can't pay anything for the police. Sounds interesting. Really brave. Well, according to rumors, his name is Yoi Kitiani. I'm seriously scared. I don't want anything to do with this. I'm leaving this to you. <laughs> That's amazing info. Our reputation may be taking a hit, but we can still prove our justice. We should discuss this with everyone. Oh, we have to meet up with her before we can go in. I hate the rain. No, I. I would love to increase Haru's, but like, I can't at the moment. We need more other uh, stuff before it lets us do that. Um, I guess it's time to go hang out with On to increase On's chance of getting shit. And then at night, we're going to go and do something completely different. Oh, yeah. 
hang out. Yes. Let's go some more fun. Okay. Oh, you have to have the right weather for it? Oh, okay. No. Ah, oh, that's too bad. It's fine. Hiya. Let's go to the oh, doodad. Yeah. Yeah. Hang out. Let's have some tea. Let's go. Might be chat. Sounds like a great day. Oh, I have a gift. Snack pack. Thank you, um. Yo. Did you see the fish? You killed somebody? It's all over the news. It's all fake news. <laughs> okay, anyway. It's my plan. Here you go, bud. Oh. Increase that kindness, bad boy. All right. Oh. All right. We gotta go. We'll zoop de doop. We'll zoop de doop de doop. Money to go to the di diner? Oh, that's so shit. <sighs> Yo. Okay. There's nothing I can customize though. All right, which one? Oh, I can customize the big sleep. Holy shit. Okay, but like a shotgun, huh? Good for hunting. You can check out the real thing if you had. Sounds good. All right, which one? Okay, we can we can increase the wall. That's nice. Sounds good. Alright, which one? Sounds good. Nice <laughs> like this makes Fuck a grenade launcher. Sure. Blast a few rounds. Oh fuck. All right. Okay, we gotta sell some of this shit. Yeah, let's sell all of these. Um, I I was I'm buying everything. If you don't didn't know, uh, I'm buying everything off of the uh, the channel, the the shopping channel, because I'm wondering if there's a, a like a, a secret um. Uh, I'm wondering if there's a a secret oh. Uh, or uh, achievement for uh, being a shopper. Come again. Because I think that would be hilarious. I forget what I was going to do, but now I remembered. We're going to the Big Bang Burger. <laughs> That's right. We're here after their death. I mean, due to the popularity of the challenge, we're once again offering another special campaign. 500 yen, can you do it? Take the challenge. No, take a seat and good luck. Thank you very much.
much. This will be your foe. Now then. You've got 30 minutes. Go. Also, word to the wise, do not try and eat a burger that, that is that big that way. I have a proposal. Don't get too hasty, just work at your own pace. <sighs> yeah! Hey, wait! You've done it again! Congratulations! On completing the final challenge. Since you managed to topple the Cosmic Tower Burger, I present to you the highest ranked certification available, the Captain Badge. Please come again. We're hereby promoted to the rank Captain. No more challenges await. But please do the challenge again and show us how gallant you are. We will be wholeheartedly awaiting your return. Your return. Hmm. You beat the Cosmic hmm. Tower. Some admiral taking on a daunting challenge with an intense level of courage. Bob, Bob, Bob. All right. New pace strategy. Time, well, time drinks. Just spectacular the way everything is perfect. We've got guts. We've got the knowledge. All right. We've got some more charm. Apparently. Right. <laughs> Give me that proficiency. Yeah. Right. Wanna head back? Come on, we should head home. I'm full just watching you. And that's why we came for the burger. Just deceiving us. Oh my god, the Phantom Thieves. How dare they? This sucks. I don't know. Oklahoma sign will start coming back to school. I know it's a funeral soon. Must be tough organizing funeral for a big wig. Former son is usually pretty quiet. Do you think she's okay? Hard to believe the dad of such a nice girl could be so evil. Didn't expect this from the Phantom Thieves, though. It's full blown public execution. Again, again, you have no proof of that. All you have is a calling card in a man died. Okay. From a heart, like, from natural causes. All things considered. Okay. Things are looking rough online. Just calling us a bunch of murderers. All the celebrities who supported us are criticized too. It's all gone up in flames. People are posting about it everywhere. I highly doubt that anyone who supported us did so honestly. There must have been many who simply went, went with the winning side. I get mixed feelings about this when you put it that way. It does make me rethink a lot of things. That aside, we need to deal with our situation. Our state of affairs continues to worsen. We can't just sit back. Still, we can't make a move without any leads. What are we supposed to do? Right around when your exams end will be perfect timing. For what? Don't worry about it. Anyway, just wait and see what happens. For the time being, let's discuss things for after our exam. So, there's no way I can focus. Can you ever? Hey, Poro! Pay attention! Is that how you listen to someone that's talking? Does that look like it hurt? He hit him right on the forehead! That's what you get for daydreaming. Kids these days. Good grief, looks like you need more proficiency to be able to dodge that. Mate, my proficiency is four! Okay, <laughs> read your max. We can go hang out with Futaba. Ah, uh, we might as well. Our, our knowledge is high enough to pass okay. these exams just fine. Uh, we could theoretically continue to increase them, depending. Um, <sighs> Yo. 
Hey. I'm cracking on that list. Yeah, we're gonna go hang out with Futaba. Step into my office. First one, go somewhere with lots of people. I know the perfect place. <laughs> Yabara Wars Revenge of Futaba. Hmm? And Akihabara? Careful. Tablet earlier? Whoever drew that picture was a real pro. Not as good as an Ari, though. He's got a particular pervy view of art. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on? It's a super limited sale at the PC section. Three terabytes for only 500 yen? What a steal! What's going on? It's out in seconds. Oh, there she goes! Come on, Mayday, Mayday, I'm trapped in the home of Blind's Kingdom. The three terabyte wars are raging outside. There are just so many people, I don't know if I can last much longer. Call cut up. Maybe I should look for Futaba. <laughs> Maybe. There you are. I, I, I. Did she do it? Did she succeed? Or did she die in there in the Sisputabas? The zombie. The zombinoid. Um, what level is this for Futaba? Four? Five? Ah. Three. So that's combined. I didn't think I was going to see you until the end of time, but th then I thought about you while I was wandering about around the store. Bam, a wild popo appeared. <laughs> Wait to see you, I guess. <laughs> so you're relieved. What an incredible coincidence. Me too. Hmm. Wait a tick, I just finished a promise. Go somewhere with lots of people. Oh. Am I awesome or what? It's all because of the three turbo war, though. Oh, and because you brought me here. Ah, uh, Futaba Sakura. Hereby thank thee. Yeah! All right. I don't know, though. I kind of tired when I was soloing that dungeon. I think not being with you is kind of scary, Papa. All right then, I'm going to add another goal on the bucket list. Being okay without you around. Might be a long quest line, but I'll finish it someday. All right, I'm tired. Okay, going home. Let's go home. To the range with a buffalo run every day. And mm. thieves and murderers, I guess all the praise I got before doesn't amount to much now. Oh, there's the catchy. Uh, we can go spend time with EY or Haifumi. Oh, uh, hold on. Which one we go spend time with does matter, so. Fumi is nine. Uh, okay. So five v five. Uh, star and hang. I think we have the hanged one. Though. Uh, no, no, no. I wanted to actually do. Persona. Yes, we have a hanged. We do not have a star at the moment, so let's go to the hang boy! Whoa! 
I want to work. In that case, do some work around the shop. That should be fun for a gun enthusiast. Hanging out. Good. Alright, drop this bag off. Oh, I was satisfied. He asked me to do another task after another. I feel like my bone will grow soon. See ya. Bye. Throw him in a slammer! <laughs> you don't have proof! This is. Moral and legal are different things! Okay, and legally speaking, not only do you not have proof we did it, but like, you still wouldn't be able to do anything if you tried, because like, you have a natural cause of a heart attack and a calling card. Okay. That's it. That's all. That's the only evidence you'll ever get. Uh, now the funeral's over. It feels like a small burden has been lifted. It is, but I'm okay. I actually feel bad having everyone worry about me. How about you? Are you doing okay? I'm managing. You're strong. I'll come back. Don't worry. I think I'll be able to rejoin everyone around when exams end. Um, we'll see you. Haru. She's the one who should be in pain right now, and yet she's still trying to cheer us up. What a nice friend. Well then. Exams start tomorrow, don't they? You should just focus on those. And we'll get to work after they're over. And I'll do whatever the fuck I want when I want to. Uh, let's see. Okay, we can up on. Still can't do Mikado at the moment. Alright, might as well go and do on. Hiya. Are you in the shop? Hey, you know what? I said I was going to take the world by storm with modeling. Well, I was thinking of getting in shape first. And who better to help with that than Ryuji, right? He said he'd be able to train with me. What do you about you? You want to join us? Fuck yeah! Sing out! Thanks. Alright, sweet. Let's go work out. I'll let Ryuji know. <laughs> Me and Popo actually already been to this gym. It's pretty sweet, huh? Not too many people getting in your way. Anyway, uh, what are you trying to do? Yes. I want to slim down. Huh. huh. You try jogging? Aerobics alone aren't enough. I want to tone up too. So I need to start lifting weights. Plus my shoulders are drooping. I want to make my biceps leaner and I need to straighten my back out. Obviously I want to cut down my waist size too and the firm up my butt in calves. <laughs> okay, my immediate thought is it's you're beautiful as is. But also I also like the uh you have guts. Like uh, that's that's quite a lot. You you sure you okay? Oh, this is for left leg. Yeah. Oh no, this is this is rank eight. God, different different thing. Uh, you have some real goats. I'm a guts demon. Come on. Well, say you just put some meat. Anyway, motivation's good and all, but you're not going to be able to move tomorrow if you do all that shit. Mm. And you come up with a training regimen for me. Oh, you're such a pain. <laughs> if you do that for me, I'll go on a date with you as a reward. F that. But thinking you're some sexy character in an anime, it's sad watching you. 
<laughs> what? No way, man. First off, one of them sexy characters never come to the gym in their PE uniform. How am I supposed to know that? I've never even been to a gym. Oh, it's my agency. Oh, yes, definitely. Even a small article would be great. Hmm? It fell through? Yeah, I guess that's okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> supposed to be in two magazines the month after next, but apparently one canceled on me. This is a black and white shoot, so they said I won't stand out. Sounds like fun, though. It was about the uh, everyday life of models. Guess you just gotta find somewhere you do stand out. Huh. There has to be somewhere my vibrant charm will shine, right? <laughs> there is no doubt. Yeah. Uh, where? By the way. Hey, speaking of magazines, there was a really pretty girl in that one you said you were starring in. Got that innocent vibe, but she's sexy now. That's what real charm looks like. Where there were photos of me too. Uh, yeah. And did she have long brown hair? That's the one. You know her. You gotta introduce me. You dick. All the girls you did be talking about just had to be Mika. Ugh, I'm so pissed. Come on, which machines are we going to use first? I'm gonna break it. The three of us strained until we reached our limits. My body, for some reason, I feel satisfied. That's what a working heart feels like. Not bad, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that was actually pretty fun. I think it was because the two of you were here with me. I had to prove I was working extra hard. <laughs> Simple stuff like that that'll help you keep pushing. Good advice. I agree. Damn it. I wish I had thought of that. Ugh, this ain't a competition. Whoa. Crap, for real? Mom forgot to buy stuff for dinner, so now I gotta head home. See ya. Uh, Ryuji just can't say no when his mom needs help, huh? I feel a little jealous of the relationship. I mean, even growing up, my parents were super busy. They always told me I was strong and that I'd be fine on my own. I was free, but I was lonely. I made friends, but we moved a lot. And every time I had to start over, I actually got used to loneliness. But that all changed when she met Shio. The world seemed so hopeful. Her, her rehab is going well. She's going to be officially transferring to school soon, too. Hey. I need to show her that I'm working hard, that she doesn't need to worry about me. She'll be happy to hear that. Yeah. You need to see how much I've learned. Trouble moving though, my legs are killing me. Bye. Bye. Ah, you're back. Isn't much of an update, but I think I'm going to go back to school starting tomorrow. I'm sorry for worrying you. Be okay though. Be sure not to push yourself. No, actually, I need to push myself. My mind always wanders if I have nothing to do. Yeah, I get that. So there's nothing you can do at home. I don't know how to put it, but try not to think about that stuff too much. And if anything happens, rely on us. We're on your side, Haru. To be completely honest, when I ended up alone, I did doubt you all a tiny bit. I cannot blame you. But it's so horrible for me to doubt you. I mean, I'm the one who asked you for all of this. Father just passed away, Haru. It's natural to feel a flood of emotions. It's really hard when you lose someone like that. Okay now, you've all helped me so much. Right back at you, thank you. Hold on, see you at school. Despite how she looks, Haru is quite the backbone. I'm sure she'll be okay. Yeah, I'm sure. There's so much stuff to do. Alright. Gotta go to the earth stuff shop. Oh, it's getting crazy out there with all this incidents. Oh. I'll make my job easier if the cops have their attention elsewhere, you know. So, you're here because you saw my message, right? Wanna work? Got security escort task for you. This is something I can only entrust to you. Will you do it? Well, obviously. 
Who do you think you're talking to, you know? Good. The person you'll be escorting is Karu. Get dinner with him at the diner in Shibuya. Now go. I gotta take care of some business with Tsuda. Be there after I handle that. We get to actually meet his son. My dad's really late, huh? He's the one who asked us to your two. You know, it's pretty rare for him to invite people out like this. He must be seeing something in you, poor, poor... Poor Usan. I doubt he'd ever actually made it, though. By the way, um, has he said anything to you about me weighing him down? <laughs> no! He loves you! <laughs> He's holding me back! Uh... Haru, you're a great kid. Why would he say that? To be honest, he's been acting super weird. More than anything, he seems stressed out. I've even heard him mentioning my name on the phone a few times. Then, every time I've gone to ask him about it, he told me there was nothing to worry about. I don't know, it just makes me anxious. I mean, we're supposed to be family. I'm not sure if you know this, but he's not my real father. He just took me in after my parents died in a car crash. Apparently, he was good friends of theirs. Honestly, I can't remember a single thing about them. I wonder if my dad even considers me to be part of his family. No, he definitely does. 100%. Think so? Now that I think about it, um... Have you ever seen his tattoo? A gecko on his neck. To this, I have a really bad scar in the same spot from a parent's car crash. Back when I was a kid, everyone picked on me for it. My dad would always come home and find me in tears. So I got that tattoo. He said it would be the new IY family crest. Oh, and I did some research on the gecko. It turns out they symbolize protecting one's home and family. I had almost forgotten about that, to be honest. Maybe he cares about me more than I realize. Yo. Yo, sorry for the hold up. You have been having fun? What have you been talking about? Girls. <laughs> Aren't you two a little fur lady killers? Yes, there's the worst things you could be talking about, though. Wait, did you get a girlfriend, Connor? That's not what we were talking about. Sorry. Anyway, I can't stay long. I've got errands I need to take care of. Figured it'd be nicer to at least drop by instead of telling you over the phone. What errands? Or can you not tell me? <sighs> What's that supposed to mean? It's just work stuff. Ain't that right? <laughs> yes, and that's the correct option too. You should buy us something. Yo. Hey, that's not a bad idea. And order anything you want. It's on me. Uh, okay. By the way, I'm almost done figuring out what happened with the deal we were talking about. I'm going to meet up with the guy who set it all up. I have to fill you in on the details some other time. <laughs> all right. This is all thanks to you, kid. It's nice having a reliable part-timer to help around the shop. Feels like our bond is growing deeper. Thanks. All right. Uh, you're not getting yourself into anything dangerous, are you? Dangerous? Of course not. Later. I'm out of here. You can hang out onto my wall at Karu. Eat as much as you want. See you at home. Okay. Her and I ate dinner together. Our escort tests have been accomplished. Playing all nighters is the worst. I really should start saying to her at least at school festival soon. It's the thing I'm looking forward to the most. Yeah, but are they going to hold it? It might get cancelled. Don't say that, you're bumming me out. If things bad enough, they cancel the festival, students are going to riot. That's right, riot! Riot, no festival, fucking blow it up, baby! Pretty bad, huh? And thieves have gone off the deep end, don't you think? 
I thought they were going to change the CEO's heart, but instead they killed him? Haven't people been saying they killed Principal too? I thought they were bad, but I never expected them to turn out to be murderers. Man, does that mean anyone who gets targeted is screwed? Put it down, I'll be handing out your exam booklets. Alright guys, it's time for exams. Well, shall we begin? First day of exams. Uh, what is the origin of the word guillotine? Pretty sure. The origin of the word guillotine is just based on the person, right? Yeah. Ooh, we can do this. Let's see, an essay question. This looks tough. Better calm down and think it through. Explain why the guillotine was used during the French Revolution. First of all, who proposed the idea of the guillotine? That one I actually don't know. Um, nah, it's a doctor. Yeah, I think of Joseph Ignatz guillotine. So, from his perspective, what was the advantage? Uh, it was quick, right? Yeah, it was execute people quickly. There were thousands of people executed during the revolution. It looks like they needed a method of execution that was quick and impartial. It finished in time! <laughs> time is up, put your pencil down! right? doesn't mean that the criminals should be left to do whatever they want. Still, couldn't they have at least left the principal to the police? And I mean, did you see that press conference? No way Allies of Justice would do that. What if a catchy coon has been right all along? So admirable sticking to his guns even though so many people were against him. Now everyone. It's enough. Quiet down. Or leave. Now everyone. So this is the second day. Wait, did we just jump to the second day? Like, we didn't go to sleep or anything? Uh, we're designed for TV, I know that. It's got 32 faces! Ooh, we can do this! There's a meaning of rope. Bota and check word that is the root of robot. Slave labor, isn't it? Yes. Ooh, we can do this. Okay, yeah, we're just breathing through days at this point, okay. These have got to be students here, right? I mean, they killed our principal. Isn't that insane? They're murderers. Now that you mention it, there was a guy in Shibuya who told me he's fainted with these the other day. Really? You gotta report that. Crap, you think so? Snap the pick up, so I should probably put it online in case. I hope the cops catch him. Okay, class, let's get started. Today is the third day of the exams. Let's go! What is the English name for the phenomenon where it feels like a cell phone is vibrating? Uh, phantom vibration syndrome, if I remember correctly. Um, yes, phantom vibration syndrome. Ooh, we can do this. Sounds about right. Which of the following government organizations do foreman fishermen of Nagawa belong to? Uh, the Imperial. I was so relieved. Yeah. Ooh, we can do Sounds it. Sounds right.
Today's the last day of exams, huh? Seen all these before, right? You got this. Looking forward to seeing your score. Uh, hey. Police are here again. Yeah, it seems it's for real this time. Apparently, one of our students is a faint thief. Seriously? I read the same thing online. Apparently, public security is already on the move. It's me. There's something I want to talk to everyone about. They'll be at the hideout of me. Our place. Think Ryuji got caught? Because that'd be hilarious. I'm coming sometime until we meet though. Uh, so I'm going to go and take care of my flowers first. See you later. I suppose the plants do need watering. Oh, I know, you should go have power report. I'll let the others know. What should we do? That's your boy. You want some help? Popocon, have you come to assist me? Um, heard that, didn't you? Not worried about the garden, I was, in case you were wondering. It's just so much has happened to me lately. Anyway, I can help? Hmm. Well, perhaps I could share you with this. I mean, it would have been nice to have someone who is aware of my current situation. Um. The source of the worries is my father's company. Dealing with the aftermath has been difficult. Given how unexpected the accident was, my father didn't have a will. All his stocks transferred to me. Which means suddenly I'm the biggest shareholder in a company of over 1,000 employees. But I don't know the first thing about business direction or fund management. That sounds tough. Yes. It is. I may be the president's daughter, but I never expected I would end up involved in a company matter. Because of that, I've been meeting with all of the various officers and lawyers my father employed. They've been giving me advice on things. I'm not entirely sure about assets, stocks. Um. It's clear someone, some people only want to get on my good side, though. I don't know who I can trust. They try to send home to ring by saying things like, don't worry or leave it to me, but it feels like they're really only being nice so they can get their hands on my bank account. I never realized I could be so just trustful of other people. I'm sorry for ranting. I feel as though doing so has helped me calm down a bit. Only people I've consulted up to this point have been my employees. But I think that what I really needed was someone closer to my own age, close to my own viewpoint. If it isn't too much trouble, could we speak about this another time? In return, I'll, uh, what can I do to help you? I don't have unique talents. How about this? To be honest. Hey, you know, gardening, I'm actually quite skilled at it. A few years ago, I managed to grow tropical fruits in the balcony at my house. To be honest, this is what I do when I'm alone, taking my mind off of things. Oh, that's right. I store some vegetables in the refrigerator down in the home economics room. You have some, if you have some time, yeah. Would you mind waiting here a moment? Um. I grew these right here in these very planters. Harvested them not too long ago. Not much, uh, but they're. You can have them. What kind? <laughs> you find out once you eat them. Ah, it's just tomatoes and zucchini. They're definitely unique, though. Speaking of which, I have a favorite to ask. I'd like to get Sakura-san's opinion on my vegetables. Do you think I could bring my next harvest over to your cafe? That's a great idea. Thank you. I'm sure Sakura-san uh, will be give me his honest opinion. I'll make you sure this is the next harvest is particularly good. Now, shall we go? To my house. Ah, uh, Ryuji didn't get caught. Midterms. Oh, I think I'm screwed for real this time. I couldn't concentrate at all. Again? It's so damn loud! More importantly, what's this you want to talk about? 
You said that something was on your mind before, but were you able to figure out what it was? The Medjet that I banned wasn't the real one. Huh? Aren't you the real one, though? Oh, uh... The guy who called himself Medjet after me isn't the one from the other day. What do you mean? The code written by that guy the other day is different from any of the past Medjet. And that means... A code is like your fingerprints. No matter how you try to disguise it, your own quirks appear in it. The one from the other day was all cut and pasted with no consistency. No skill at all. But aren't there multiple people across the world that are part of Medja? Couldn't it have been done by someone that joined recently? How do I put it? That code was so not done by anyone interested in cracking. At all. At the very least, there's no way it was an official Medjed member. So someone used the Medjed name to provoke the Phantom Thieves? For what purpose? Could they have been doing it for fun? It was around the time our group started getting popular, so maybe they wanted in on the hype. Wait a moment. What if it's the other way around? Hmm? Perhaps they used the Medjed name to make the Phantom Thieves known. What? That makes no sense! For I Sano. actually thought the same as Makoto. Why is that? Know how I just said that code is like fingerprints? I found those same fingerprints somewhere completely different. Where's that? The Phantom Aficionado website. There were traces of it being illegally tampered with from the outside. For real? For summer vacation, the access counter was made to be much higher than the actual number. Same with the rankings. Particularly the time when President Okumura ranked first. So then, the one who provoked the group and the one who tampered with the site are the same person? I think I'm starting to see the big picture. Both Medjed's provocation and the tampering of the website brought attention to us as a result. On top of that, our reason for targeting Okumura was influenced by the public and the rankings. The perfect timing and the perfect target. If both of those had been set up... It would all make sense. So the culprit was planning to put the blame on us from the start? No way. This is all hypothetical. We lack any hard evidence. So did the police. So, like, but if yeah. if deductions happen to be correct, that would mean we've been playing right into their hand for the past two months or so. We gotta be overthinking things. I mean, we're talking both the rankings and Medjet. Everyone made a big deal about it. If this was all set up, then... What kind of guy did we make an enemy of? There's no point in getting anxious of regardless, we'll be falsely charged at this rate, and with murder. We must overcome this. But we don't even know who we're up against. Hey, you think we're falling into another trap? Even at this very moment? Calm down. Yeah, this doesn't mean that we've lost yet. Even if this is the actions of a meticulous enemy, we'll just have to get back at them. We need to find clues, no matter what. Me? I was told you recommended this reassignment yourself, sir. Why would you choose someone as inexperienced as myself? When the case of the Shujin Principle was ruled a suicide, you thought to reopen it, and you proved its connection to the Phantom Thieves. This is based primarily on that achievement. I'm honored, sir. The Phantom Thieves issue is now a national crisis. Expectations are exceedingly high for us public prosecutors, as we are the executors of justice. Personnel and planning will be up to you on this case. You will also have the police under your command. Her eyes. <laughs> so great. See this operation. <sighs> You've yet to give an answer. Will you accept the task of eradicating the Phantom Thieves? I will give it everything I have. We'll have to prepare a higher position for you as well in the event that you succeed. I don't wish to apply extra pressure on you, but I assume your odds of success are high. Naturally. Failure to accomplish this task is unacceptable. Do you understand? 
Of course. I will live up to your expectations no matter what it takes. That is all, then. I expect good results from you. I'm home. Hi, sis. Should I warm up dinner for you? No, it's a... How about a bath? No need. I just came home to get a change of clothes. Are you going to stay at work, then? I've been entrusted with a very important task. You look awful, though. Aren't you tired? As an adult, there will be times when you will accept an assignment for which failure is not tolerated. <laughs> Man, I, I tolerate failure in your exams, but not on this particular assignment. <laughs> <laughs> Only in this moment is failure not tolerated. Not in high school, you know. That's fine. You know, getting F's in classes and dropping out, that failure is definitely tolerated. It's all over for me if I can't win this. Still, if you were to collapse from exhaustion, this is my one chance to get a promotion. I heard detectives have been coming to your school. That must make it hard to focus on your studies. Don't worry, though. It will all be over soon. What do you mean? I'm going to catch the Phantom Thieves myself. Is that the important task you mentioned? It's none of your concern. Oh my god. Sis has her sights set on the Phantom Thieves, and on Shujin Academy in particular. Oh, this is bad. Bum, 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 bum. I think they've come somewhat troublesome. Just stay calm. Sis told me she's entrusted with a very important task of regarding the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, uh, Shujin uh, must surely be move it. Uh, I don't uh, SIU, the Servants Institute Union. I don't know. That's bad. Wait, were they already investigating us though? The police were doing so in secret. The operation is on, on a much different scale. Hold on. Why do they... What is this anyway? Special Investigations Unit. Lead team to deal with huge cases like government scandals. I heard their name on the news, making headlines. The real insane part is they haven't lost a case. If they come after you, you're screwed. It's the best investigation force in Japan. You're gonna be arrested. This does this countermeasure seem somewhat extreme, right or wrong? I think we're just too famous. At this point, the country is governed by law. Uh, they can't afford to ignore us. We may be the Phantom Thieves, but this is miserable. And they probably have a pretty narrow suspect profile, yeah, too. Don't scare us. It's okay, though. They don't have any evidence. Yes, I expect their friend will be searching for some as we speak. No way they're gonna find any. Only a matter of time, we have to hurry to do something. Things are gonna be fine, unless they know about the metaverse, there's no way they'll get any info. Ooh! Can somebody change a heart ourselves? Like, it did, did, at the very beginning, when we got caught by one of our own people, did one of, did the guy go into one of us and change one of our hearts to tell all about uh writing us out or is an elaborate like plan to get her to our side hey Ugh. <sighs> let me do things are useless. I wish they wouldn't spend tax dollars to just sit on their ass as a mysterious group of murderers and inept government. What is the world coming to? <sighs> Everyone's talking trash. I just want to point out the world's always been like this. You're just realizing it again.
Also, I want to point out the president died, but there was no scandal behind them, which is also weird. Like, everybody else has been criminals except the president. Like, people who are paying attention to this and police should recognize the difference. There are, like, straight up professionals in the field who recognize patterns with groups like anonymous and other people serial killers and like tells and stuff like that anybody worth a lick of fucking salt who's following this case would recognize that there's no way it's the same people yeah who do you think those damn cops think they are you can't just stare us all down like that no oh, maybe the rumors are true maybe there's a paint of thief in our school Okay, quiet down. Police are here, be sure not to get in their way. Oh, and for various reasons, the school festival got moved to the 25th. There was talks of canceling it, but we couldn't do that. I'm sure the preparations will be rough, but don't push yourself too hard. Really? On a weekday? That's kind of reasons are there. Uh, with all the stuff of Principal from Ashida, I guess it can't be helped. Apparently, the police are going to be interrogating all the students here. Seriously? Police are at Shujin? They haven't come to my school. Seems they're calling students individually out to the class to speak with them. Wait, does that mean we're going to get called too? Second year will start in this afternoon. Make sure you prepare yourselves mentally. Could be looking for the culprit, right? Who knows? Careful, guys. You should probably not say too much. They'll see through any lies you try to make. Hey, guess, don't tell them anything unnecessary. Then next step is Takamaki san and you two will go to Huh? Why? They'll probably have one of you wait outside. That's how they've been doing it so far. Uh, oh yeah, right. Those are the instructions the detectives gave us. Just don't say more than is necessary and try and get it over with quick. Take a seat. Overpairing detective. Uh. I'm sorry to take your time. This will be over quick. Let's see. Ah, yes. You're the one currently under probation. It says here you had a dispute with Mr. Kamashita. Yeah, that happened. You're more hot-blooded than you look. You spend time with quite an interesting group. Yusuke Kitagawa and Haru Okumura? more friends the better right I'm sorry to have taken your time you're free to go now oh I almost forgot there's just one more thing I have to ask do you think the phantom thieves are associated with this school I'm curious hold on I'm wondering if this actually has anything on it, but... Yeah, okay. It doesn't matter what we say. Is that really true? We won't know for certain unless we investigate further. Thank you for your time. Your responses will serve as great reference material. Takamaki-san is next. Could you ask her to come in? I got so nervous, I almost stuttered a few times. I thought... Seems we were all asked the same question. That's how they get you. They do that on purpose, then wait for someone to slip up. I hope you didn't. It was probably fine. Oh, I would have been done for if they saw how sweaty my hands were, though. To think my name would come up as well. Sounds like we can't take the police lightly, either. Hey, didn't you think that detective guy was scary? 
Eh, seemed normal to me. Not to me. He looked like someone who's dealt with dangerous criminals. I'm sorry for all of this. It's because of my sister. That's Got not true, your Benjamin. your sister makes her own choices. You're not at fault or forced to It's not as though I hadn't predicted this would happen. Act like your sister doesn't now that it's become reality. I'm we need to make sure we don't draw suspicion and work to clear our names. Right? Right. It ain't your fault, Makoto. I'm gonna try to see how far along this investigation really is. I'm worried about the police, too, but as of now, anyone in this city could be a mole. They were so popular, too. Haru, can I ask you to search your father's belongings for clues about a possible culprit? I... I know it may be tough on you. No, it's okay. Now isn't the time for me to look away. At least there's resolve there. Else. You need to be cautious of how you spend your time at school. So, I've decided to have you three second years join me on the school festival executive committee. Why? It will allow us to gather without drawing suspicion. Plus, trying to blend in will only do the opposite. Ah, uh, fine. I agree. The more time I have to kill, the more time I'll spend worrying about all this stuff. No matter what happens, I don't want to regret my decisions. Don't jinx it! It would be no surprise if they came directly to our homes for questioning. They showed up at your school after all. I should remain cautious. For now, the best option is to stay on the defensive. But we won't make progress at this rate. Let's try and figure out who the real culprit is somehow, okay? Of course. <laughs> I love the loading screen. He looks so good in his glasses. Well, yeah, no shit. Can I leave now? Can I go do hey. things? Oh my god, Morgan. I have the ability to remove exhaustion now, okay? After metaverse stuff, you could have just fucking given me this. Okay. Instead of wasting days after days after days. Yes. I have another suggestion. Call for the arrest of the Phantom Thieves, then mobilize the police. The rest will go as you mentioned. Still, I'm truly amazed at the atrocious methods you come up with. Am I? I'm not even here in this scene. Look, look, you can't see me anywhere. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> uh, when you don't go to school. <laughs> uh, what's going on? They froze up when the cops talked to me. I bet they consider me a suspect now. How much longer are they going to do this? We should be busy preparing for the school festival right now. Why did the school decide to have a festival so late anyway? I mean, changing the date just because our school's all over the news? Moving it to next Tuesday only makes it work for us. We won't be able to invite friends from other schools now that we're holding the festival on weekdays. It'll be an inconvenience to anyone we already invited. And what about the post-festival party? There will be enough people for the student sharing special? Ugh. I'm going to be a real weird festival with morale so low. Speaking of annoying me, we've been uh, getting phone calls to our faculty, absurdly saying who exactly are the Phantom Thieves, that's what we want to know. We really have no clue what method they're using, killing someone without directly interacting with them is like magic. Speaking of magic, did you know that there's magic in math too? A magical square, the square in which you're adding up with a number in any row, column, or diagonal gives you the same total. Horosan, please look at this. Do you know this one? Square number should be in the middle of the square in order to make it the magic square. Uh, God, I don't have any fucking clue on this. 
I wish I did, but there's, there's just no way I know. Um, it's apparently five. This is it. Correct. Because I don't know what it's supposed to add up to. The three by three score only has one pattern, but four by four has 880, 880 possibilities. But by five square, there are more than 200 million. Can you believe that? Seems kind of smart, doesn't he? Nice. Yeah, look at that. We got that question right. Ba -bow. All right. Yeah, to choose, would you try and find the thanks to thieves or sell 200 million magic squares? I choose the magic squares hands down. They might both be magic, but magic squares can be calculated. Magic doesn't kill. I think everyone out there looking for the culprit is gonna be down. So what we could do as the festival committee need to help with questionnaires. What questionnaires? The ones regarding who people want to see as their guests of honor. Alright. I mean those lame requests come to do a panel? Festival dates are changed because of the situation and we need to hurry and daily results comes once class is over. So boring. Don't be like that. You meet up without standing up. Let's do what we can. I'll make sure to work hard at home. But you do that all the time. You look stuff up. Did you find anything hard about that? Nothing? Uh, I would rule out suspicion if I ask too many detailed questions. Manage on something on my end. We're counting on you. You can't go, but mess with me. I'll leave this to you. Damn it. We don't have time to be doing crap like this. You don't need to keep mentioning it. We're doing this to keep suspicions off of us, remember? Goro Akechi. This one, too. Ake They're mostly the same over here as well. Everyone's so eloquent when they can be anonymous. It's like they never accepted us to begin with. It would be nice if you did some work too, Ryuji-kun. He came to help us count these, right? Come on, leader. Can you tell him too? <laughs> Take that seriously. We're gathering information too. You know, like, uh, online and stuff. I guess that's one way of saying it. Whoa, look here. This ain't good. Criminal. The acts of thievery committed by the Phantom Thieves are mere fakes. And their true goal is murder? Every heart they changed before Okumura was just a warm up? Uh, so now they're accusing us of being a bunch of killers. Man, they really don't understand how so profiling works then. Damn it. Because, like, nobody in their right mind we would be reason. like, Ah, oh, yes, this, uh, serial, uh, what, what was it back in the day? Because we're phantom thieves, so it's like, we're stealing things, like artworks and stuff. So, this serial thief and multiple artists scrubbing a bunch of, like, great art pieces and stealing them without a trace was all just warm-up to destroy priceless artifacts they never wanted to keep them in the first place they just wanted to break and burn them it's like no <laughs> you stupid first place is i would be a completely Akechi. different person at that point what a catchy what are you so surprised for we've been mentioning him this whole time seriously not some singer or an idol it's because of us that his popularity has skyrocketed. We're the ones counting the results. Can't we just make him up? We don't have to get him. People will figure that out. He won by a landslide. I knew people would vote for him, but this is way more votes than I was expecting. It would be best for us to avoid inviting such a clear danger upon ourselves. I'd like a little more time to think about her. That reminds me. How is Futaba-chan doing? She seemed like she was looking into something on her own. Leave it to her. You're not gonna get arrested because the police tracked her down, right? 
That's the last thing we need now. Dude, if she's medjed, there's Even international police trying to track her down. So like we should let her continue with her own investigation. She good, mate. <laughs> Hey, what's up? In response to the police identifying the Phantom Thieves as primary suspects, Goro Akechi had this to say. Even though my opinion has been met with criticism, I've held fast that the Phantom Thieves are not just. However, I believe the recent series of suspicious deaths is unrelated to their actions. W what Did I hear you correctly? Yes, see Akechi, Akechi understands. Okay, and can she pay attention to patterns like a proper investigator? But Akechi san, you were the first to caution everyone about the Phantom Thieves. Were you not? This doesn't change the fact that they are indeed a dangerous group. That said, I would like to express that immediately linking them to this case is far too hasty. There are still many questions to be answered here. It feels as though there is more to this. After this conference, Akechi-san announced he will be limiting his media appearances and... I wonder why the sudden change. I would argue that in America. Uh, let's see, we're stuck on a Kumar investigation. Even you're having trouble? What should we do? Let's meet up. Tomorrow? Earlier the better. Though, I still haven't come up with anything myself. As said, two heads are better than one, so you can imagine that hate me. It's a good way of thinking. Totally an Ari idea. Alright, calm down. Crossing some dangerous bridge. Look how far we've come, we can't uh, worry about our methodology. What are you staring at your phone like that for? Oh, are you going through a breakup? <laughs> That's not it. Whoa, no need to deny it so seriously. It was just a joke. By the way, you haven't been causing any trouble, have you? I heard the police showed up at your school. It's nothing about me. As long as you're not getting involved. <sighs> well, fine. I didn't do nothing. Oh my god, do I finally get a chance to actually do something today? Hi, baby. Hi, stretchy baby. Hi. Hi you're so fluffy. Alright. Hold on. I'm gonna... Oh, we don't have any dirty laundry. Oh, that's nice. I was just double checking. Um. All right, we don't really have time to just kill. Um, to do things, we really need to get, get these guys like up. So I want to work. Work. I see, it's not bad. If you know where it is, take me there so I can check it out. Hmm. Planetarium, huh? Yeah, Koru would like this place. Be educational, too. I mean, how did you not know where the planetarium is? There's the inner. You can just look it up. <laughs> just saying. Uh, I wonder why kids get interested in stuff like stars and space. Because the world sucks. Okay, why? Well, I don't know how to break it to you, but the, nobody well, really wants to be here. I mean, if you didn't have, if like you could do anything with your wife, didn't have to get into uh, the Yakuza shit like that, pretty sure you'd be like, oh, but my, there's something for me out there. All couples. 
And there ain't no place for an old guy like me to stroll in another guy. Technology <laughs> dishes and Brussels have barely understood what they were saying, though. Better educate myself before I bring Kairu here. Want me to teach you? <gasps> you teach me things? What was that pot? How are you smarter than I am? <laughs> Shut up! Yo. Simply don't want to ask. What would you say a good father like? It's like I never had someone to like that, so I gotta figure out how to be a normal parent. Never mind, ain't like me to talk quite that crap. There's some families here, but they look like younger kids. I hope Carter still wants to come. See ya. Adios, bud. Enjoy your day. Don't forget the internet exists. Ugh, these are one of those I gotta click through. Makoto. Has Nijima-san told you anything about the investigation? I like her jacket. Well, Sis actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's probably because she doesn't want you to, uh, tell her to take a break from it. She's trying to hide it so that, uh, she can get that promotion. She knows that you care too much. And, uh, that slow her down. Hey, yeah. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. Regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for our school festival. I'm considering asking a catchy co For real? It's good. It's smart. Weren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? I mean, that's true, but like... Ryuji, the students will notice something's up. And he's not directly against us in terms of like murder. He doesn't appreciate what we do, but like he can help sway opinion away from we're killers. Like that should at least account for something. I understand this is dangerous. But without a powerful source of intel, we won't be able to win against the police network. And I can no longer rely on my sister for information. Wait, is this because of Akechi-kun's police connections? You're going to use him as your powerful source of intel? Bold move. I'm surprised to hear that suggestion coming from you, Makoto. Did you see his press conference yesterday? One of his comments defending the Phantom Thieves stood out to me. I think he said that knowing for certain that the Phantom Thieves would be watching. Still, there will be so many other students at the school festival. What are the odds of success? It's a gamble, and the odds are less than favorable, but we can no longer afford to hesitate. What are your thoughts? Should be fun. Okay, then. Is everyone else okay with that? I don't know if they're okay with I'm it, but they're just gonna have to accept Whatever it. Whatever he says has got to be more reliable than what I've been able to come up with. It would be reassuring to gain him as an ally, rather than simply a source of information. Hold on, how are we even gonna get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. We have all the data from the PC of a public prosecutor. Finding his phone number was a no-brainer. Damn, you're real impressive. But then... Wouldn't you wonder how we acquired his number? I'll just say my sister had it. That isn't even technically a lie. Can you send me the number, Futaba? 
I'll contact him right away. I gotta say, I'm really not big on the Sakechi deal. Now's no time to be petty. Just think of him as a source of intel. Nothing. I have a response already. He says, let me think about it. Wait a sec. Didn't he say he wasn't gonna do any more stuff for the media? That's likely why he's so hesitant. What are we gonna do if he turns us down? I'll keep trying. Maybe frustrating, but he's all we have at the moment. We need him to do it no matter what. We're counting on you, Mako. Yeah! We're not the villains here. <laughs> we are good people that have been thrown into the wrong thing. We're innocent of the murder. Also, how dare you walk me upstairs again, you cat. Oh. Yeah, because you're forcing me to. I dreamed that Haifumi and I watched a film together. Be a little closer to Haifumi. What? What? <laughs> Mate, that would've been such a cool thing to have across the entire fucking game. Hey. You are we getting for a guest this year? Oh, you mean a catchy, right? I kinda saw that coming. Everyone I know voted for him. Didn't he say he wasn't gonna make more public appearances? Why did he agree to come? Probably has to do with the fam thieves. Wasn't a catchy going around saying how evil they were before? Yeah, that proves they're connected to the school now, somehow. Hey, you're right. Maybe you'll tell us some stuff about the case. No way am I going to miss the panel this year. Hmm. And just say whatever they want with no thought. But for now, we'll just need to endure it. No, at least we can get some more intel. Okay, class, let's get started. School festival tomorrow. Have you made all preparations? I'm the advisor of the East SS, and I'll be busy helping them today. Yes, this stands for English Study Society, by the way. We need to advertise that Shujin's school provides an education you can use anywhere in the world. Hey, Poro. There are tons of three letter acronyms like ESS in the an world. Answer. Can you tell me what the S in SOS is? Well, okay, so, it depends on what you believe. Um, it can be Save Our Souls. It's also, if I remember correctly, when it was originally created, um, it, uh, it was just because it was one of the shortest and quickest ways to send a signal by telegram. And thus, it was technically meaningless. So as said to vent save our ship, save our soul, other interpretations, but in reality it's not an acronym of anything. It's just the simplest thing you can set with Morse code in an emergency. Yep, yeah, see? And that's the only reason it exists. People made an acronym afterwards. They haven't finished preparing for the festival though, it's too late to send an SOS now. Also save our ship. Um, uh, sinking of ship, so on and so forth. Maybe he's actually smart. Oh, teacher's learn. Nice going. We answered the question. All right. School festival isn't just time for students to goof off. It's important to have an event where we invite prospective students, PTA members, and like to attend. This time we have a catchy sign for our panel. There will be twice as many guests, even though it's a weekday. I'll have to spend twice as much time on my makeup tomorrow, too. Be on your best behavior. Mm. School festival, huh? I catch you really gonna be there? Our grades are out. How'd you do? Damn, I'm dead. I wish I could get to top ten. People look at smart students differently. I wonder what score I got. I'm in the top ten! Everyone's gonna have their eyes on you now. Ah, uh, yeah, right. bring that charm up.
Heels here, bib. Any words for Makechi? Nothing. But tomorrow is the start of the school festival. Will be, it be okay? Makechi declines our offer. We won't have a guest. Huh. That's where you're worried. Appreciate your concern, but it'll be fine. Just need to get a catchy kun to agree to this somehow. Yep. It's that bastard up to anyway. That hasn't done anything since he said he was going into hiding. Not sure. I'll try to explain the circumstances around surrounding the school festival to him again. Hopefully he can give me a response by the end of the day. I'll let you know if I make any progress on that front. Hey, Pora! Pay attention! Whoa, that was an epic dodge. That was nice to see, ninja. Whatever, moving on. When you got in the dark clouds' attention, your charm definitely increased. Hey, your charm's getting there. Welcome home. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. You're back awfully. How has business been for you lately? <laughs> Take a look around. Is the Nijima lady doing well? Unfortunately, we haven't seen each other lately. We had a difference of opinion. What are your thoughts, Representative Shido? It doesn't surprise me that people say our country is lethargic. We've let these phantom thieves run amok. Man's voice. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been hesitant to act. I apologize for any concern they may have caused, and will henceforth search for an apt countermeasure. That politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's gonna do everything. This is an important undertaking, and one I intend. The selfish criminals enacting this social reform are in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people as hastily as possible is my natural duty as a politician. Man, this guy is admirable. Rampant political scandals, thieves on the loose. As sad as it is, we must resolve this problem. And I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. Oh, I've met that man somewhere before. What are you standing there staring off into s You're standing too. Standing here is my job. <laughs> that politician is honest and carries an overwhelming amount of charisma. It feels like a trustworthy leader for Japan has finally come forth. Don't you think, boss? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Criminals, hmm? Well, that must be how he sees it. However, that is ignorant of their true nature. If these people attack others with no remorse, why would they make a teacher and an artist apologize? Could a murder truly have been enacted by the same group? If this Sukumura incident was not the Phantom Thieves, if they only change the hearts of criminals, then even though they can't be considered innocent, perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. Are you a fanboy? <laughs> I knew there was something special about you. Ever since the first time we met, I feel as though I could tell you anything during our conversations. Reminds me, I've been invited to a panel at Shujin Academy, and, ah, uh, wait, I'm sure you know that already. Considering it's such a good opportunity, I've decided to accept the offer. Thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Glad you liked it. I'm happy I could see you. I'll be going now. Man. I didn't know any better. I'd say he's coming on to me. What's going on about the competition? Probably a good bit smarter than you, huh? 
<laughs> Alright, boss. Way to rub it in my fucking face. Man, you must be a lot smarter than your thick head. Uh, I didn't notice I got in a response from Akechi. He accepted the lecture invitation. Well done. Thank you. First step is done. Either way, the real issue is what to do next. The lecture is on the afternoon of the second day, yeah? Wait, you're coming to the school festival? Eh, it's during my exam week, so I'll be able to go in the afternoon. I'll come too, Futaba? It'll be fun. Seriously? I don't see why not. We should all walk around together. Sounds good. At a time like this, this is the perfect chance for us to relax. Haru, uh, are you sure you're okay? Seems a little soon. I'm thank you. Walking, always dreamed of walking around my school festival with friends. I suppose if you say it like that, I can resign myself to enjoy our time. Thank you, Haru. It is my pleasure. And it's my pleasure to figure out what the fuck I'm doing next. Okay, so we can increase Haifumi. Yeah, let's go to Haifumi then. Oh yeah, good levels of crack. And I don't mean like good evening. the drug. I mean I was cracking my uh, wrist and I could feel it. Go. <sighs> Lovely. Maybe good for you to remember that as well. well. I'm sorry, I'm not in the mood to teach Shogi. Could you join me for a walk? Yeah, we're gonna Thank hang you out. Very much. I will see it. Let's keep going to the area around Sky Tower today. Let's head on over. They're not be paying for this trip. Actually, this is it. The digital version of the weekly magazine. Now my father's deterioration health. Uh, he's bedridden and the fact that my mother primarily supports us. Even reported that my mother works at a nightclub. Which is not untrue, but uh, was it really necessary for them to write all of this? The blessing on family's private matters is just cruel. My family's troubles have nothing to do with my skill as a shoji player. My mother was furious when she read the article. She said it'll hurt her career and she'll never forgive who wrote it. My father didn't say anything, he just sat there listening to her, but he looked troubled. <sighs> My mother told me that if we'd been we'd be able to easily quell these rumors if I were to become more famous. So now she's even more insistent on having me do TV and magazine interviews. I I'd argue that the insistence of doing this article is what threw you fucking under the bus in the first place, but... Okay. <laughs> Definitely not your own fault. Um, we're on six, aren't we? Six. Frustrating? Yes. Although I can't express that to my mother, she's so happy for me. Um. I always believed that if I worked hard as a shogi player, I'd be able to support us. But I never expected such a destructive article would be written about me and my family. Honestly, nothing good will come from being treated like an idol. People say I'm all looks and no skill. They're annoyed that I'm in the press all the time. Trouble things have been said about me suggesting I would do anything to become popular. Beef is starting to be shunned in the shogi world. That's why my senior acted that way towards me. Um. The real reason I practice in the church is that no one wants to play with me. Father used to practice with me from his side sick bed, but his illness made that impossible. Maybe I should stop playing shogi and just get a job. That way my family won't get hurt again. But you love shogi! <laughs> of course I do. I love shogi. I don't want to quit. <laughs> yes, you're right. You can understand my true feelings. At the end of the day, I love Shogi. I'd never be able to give it up. I was just confused because of that article and how my senior treated me. However, I think I can see my next move thanks to you. Helping me realize a lot about myself outside of Shogi. We're getting there. Alright. Let's return to the church and play a match. Ripple has left me somewhat irritated. I'm going to use my secret move, the Eternal Abyss Yagura Gate, and turn the board into hell. Well, would you care to face me in a match?
feel like playing Shogi with Haifumi helped me sharpen my knowledge. Boink! All right. Until next time. The festival seems to be a success. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. The Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we got a catchy as a guest. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Acting like normal students is going to be important. What do you normally do at a school festival? Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? It's true. There's no rules. Remember when we went to the beach before? Why not go about it like that? She's right. Um, the school festival in name isn't supposed to be for fun. More importantly, it's possible that both your names have come up during the investigation. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day. Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. All right. Now, now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful. Oh, um... You seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did. I want to go around with everyone. Ooh. And eat at the refresh. Well, it'll be a nice change of pace. A lot of nasty stuff's continued lately. Shall we head off? Food. All right. This is your first time at our school festival. They're pretty good, from what I've heard. I know a great one. Follow me. What did our class do, though? Why are we not involved? Made takoyaki? New customers! I'll show you all to your seats. So, it's your class's stand. Oh, we did... It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? We did made takoyaki. It's like a deserted island here. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. We heard a lot of rumors, even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. May I take your order? Take my order? What happened to the maid atmosphere? There are a lot of odd flavors. Stick to a normal one. I bet they... I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. The hell? Well then, I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. I'm sorry, we're out of cod bro. Then how about the squid? Um, we're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. That doesn't even sound remotely possible. Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> You're making a scene. <laughs> then, what would you no, no, no. That's Ryuji's being himself at his most self level. Okay, even if he pulls attention to him, that we would be more surprised if he's not. Okay, like th this is About what we need. Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little time. Let's forget about the octopus and get back on topic. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. But I kept hearing about Goro Akechi's popularity. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. 
He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. You are so carefree. Does it mean that you have nerves of steel in any situation? It's true. I'm Still, hungry. <laughs> it doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechikun is planning. Thank you for the wait. Why is there one? Ooh, it's fresh made. Lies. I heard a microwave go off. Well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. Well, one of these is special. Uh, one of them's obviously red. That's gotta be the one. Oh! Oh my god! It's Russian roulette with takoyaki! Dude, don't tell me the Russian part me. It's like, going for the obvious one is manly. I is that so? Well, I'd prefer the most beautifully shaped one. But all of them are misshapen. Oh, are you not going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Wait, is she honestly going for it? Do it! Do it, Haru! Show you her a man! You wanna go for the red one? I'll take it. Ooh, impressive as always. Oh, everyone's all here. At least everyone. The, the panel isn't until tomorrow, though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes since a lot of people will be present. Someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were sloppy. I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. <laughs> He's gonna eat it. I'm going to have one of these. <gasps> the special one! Let's just call this my performance fee. But... It's fine. Hmm. It's quite the... <laughs> Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. <gasps> My throat. <laughs> yeah. This is. Uh, oh, my yeah. stomach. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you he was so full of himself. He got shot immediately uh, for. Um, I'm fine. <laughs> I just love uh, spicy, spicy stuff. <laughs> Man, if I, if I, I had the chance. To see a scene like that in every video game where somebody's like so full of themselves right away to be slapped by it. Oh man, I'd be so happy. Hey, does he sound broken to you? <laughs> well then, I'll I'll see you uh t t tomorrow. Wow, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants uh, to get picked up for some best. commercial or something. But did he truly come to simply check the venue? Uh, this isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best tomorrow. We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That a catchy guy. When he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? You're here just imagining. No, he definitely it. said that. That's what it was like. Everyone? No, but I wanted to see more. Ah, oh, you fucked. You didn't even show us anything but that. Just say, I think I'm tired of the new terms. <laughs> I didn't mind any of it. I just love seeing the detective gulp down the special tech yampi. <laughs> I had fun as well since I got to spend time with you all. I wanted to see more of the festivities. I wish I could run through the school. <laughs> That's the next move.
Okay, but do you- are you going to give me the ability to do things? You gonna give me the ability to do things? Ugh, no. What a pile of bullshit. I'm going to sleep, but not because I wanna. This is bullshit. What do you think he knows? He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identity. Come on, Makoto. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Getting right to the point, I see. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but, well, something like that. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? Why it's as if you're a prosecutor. <sighs> Excuse me. This is something I've personally been interested in, so I couldn't help it. But won't you tell us? What reason is there that you'd claim their innocence when you previously stated they were unjust? Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting him with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. And if, this is all hypothetical, mind you, if the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill your comment just now. Does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Oh, no. The police haven't gotten that far yet. But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. He's gotta be bluffing. Pipe down. He's lying, right? But if it's the truth... You're not going to ask me who they are? It may have repercussions on the investigation. Are you sure you can share that with us? It's only my personal opinion, so announcing that here wouldn't pose a problem. However, there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. The truth? What's he planning on saying? That's quite the confidence you have, if you're so certain. Very well. I'd like to ask you then. Who do you think the Phantom Thieves are, Akechi-san? That idiot! No. There's no way he could have any evidence. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are... Ah, oh, it's mine. I apologize for the interruption, but I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Would you mind if I step away for about ten minutes or so? I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. We'll resume the panel in ten minutes. Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? Is there a room I may use? 
There's the PE faculty office. I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? Did you set this up? We only have ten minutes, you know. What do you want to talk about? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god okay all right now hear me out hear me out okay this this is evidence to him okay of something weird all right and the like oh look it's the metaverse and we know like where we're coming from all right but anyone who's either not watching the direct footage of it happening or having seen it in person would think this is some CGI bullshit, okay? That this is clearly some fucking, like, video edit, like, Oh, we're fading into existence! <laughs> like, this is an evidence worth shit. <laughs> oh, That's gotta be shot. nothing. I have video footage, too. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world, too. Yes. Us too? It's not just all of you. I am aware of that world too. Oh. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed on <gasps> my phone without my knowledge. Oh, she got an app when we were Dude, meeting with him. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. So, you admit it then. In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to think it would end up like this. We didn't kill anyone. I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. For real? Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world, too. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. Oh, it's like the Green Goblin. Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. This guy has a persona too? Th this cat. I swear, it just... Morgana, our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. Really? This is unbelievable. But it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana, were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world, too. We go in the metaverse, or we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure. And those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> well, there's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an M.O. <laughs> so I'm like, there's, there's no way you can... <laughs> 
through all of this. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake. Which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. A deal? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you. Along with that video I mentioned. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. I'm... I'm a man of justice, but I'll blackmail you if you don't do what I want. Yeah, okay, alright, okay. Uh, hypocrisy at its finest, okay. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. <laughs> Which you know wasn't us, so <laughs> You've heard that Sai San is the one spearheading the investigation about you Phantom Thieves, correct? You gonna come up? You gonna come the close? The ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Sai San. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. Sai Sun can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. Make it up? So they're gonna make it all our fault just because they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone, though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious... Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want our cooperation. Yes. And once again, we have shown In that... Turn, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Um... Police don't actually care about justice or truth or finding out anything. They, they will and have made up evidence and falsehoods, whatever, to throw whatever they want against the wall. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. What should we do about Akechi Sun's proposal? You're demanding a lot. I see. I thought I was making a lot of concessions myself. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. Hey. All right. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. forward to your answer it was definitely I look forward to my answer too we should be getting back about that I'm sorry would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here the reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted Intel correct my business is concluded as well I'll deal with it somehow damn it he had complete control over us It's funny that the nav doesn't, like, hey, do anything to, like, mess with, like, video footage of us coming back. Like, like, you would think that if the people aren't aware around us and it messes with them, that it would also mess with video footage and other stuff like that to keep the world separate. Oh, this is interesting. Sorry about the sudden break. An urgent task, even. So, I truly apologize about this.
this, but I'll have to end things here today. To make up for the time that was planned for this panel, the Rakugo Research Club will instead be... I can't say anything in detail regarding the Phantom Thieves' investigation, but I feel another great stride will occur again soon. I hope you all continue to pay attention to what happens. Let's have a big round of applause for today's guest, Goro Akechi. Was that really our best course of action? He totally used Makoto's suggestion against us. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this... I mean, we gathered so intel, the police don't deal. have the information, only he does. He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. You heard Morgana. Think hard. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Why did Futaba have something like this? If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. I knew it. She's... Oh, God. Again, would you like to go together? I tried to think of what happened earlier, but that got us nowhere. So, uh, I could use a change of pace. How about it? I'll go and go to the post, but calm down. Can't decide what to do. Oh, well, Mishima's here with us. You should join us. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. I kind of want to go with Haru. Um, because we don't have any relationship built with Haru. Um... But I don't know if that impacts my actual relationship. Oh, interesting. I just don't have, uh, some, some options aren't available because we don't have them at a high enough level. That's interesting. Alright, well, we're gonna go with Ryuji. I'll be there. See ya. <laughs> and now it's time for your favorite shoot-in tradition, the student sharing special. Round of applause, everyone. They're doing this again. All right, who has something to say? Anyone? Anyone? Over here! Over here! This guy's got something. What? Right through you, G. This is karma. 
<laughs> You're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and what is your name? Sakamoto. Ah, Sakamoto kun. You look like someone filled to the brim with pent up anger towards society. Anyway, on with the show. What would you like to share with us today? Uh, Sakamoto kun? Uh, uh. Huh? <laughs> What's this? Our Sakamoto kun may look tough, but it turns out. Accidentally spill the beans. You change the subject. So, uh, uh, you have a girlfriend? What? Uh, who would be interested in that? Dick. You over there. Would you like to join in? The oh, hell yeah. Well then, come on up. How fucking dare you, Ryuji? This was yours. I have a bombshell. The hell? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wanted to yell that up the mic. <laughs> God damn it. Sakamoto kun, turns out you're just a big chicken, huh? I'm gonna kill you if you don't shut it. I miss that shy Ryuji. <laughs> no, I can't stop laughing. Dude. By the way, I would have been totally effed if you hadn't said something. Thanks. No, I you wanted to show what that I love for you. Damn it, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, this ain't really the best way of thanking you, but uh... you're a dependable friend. <laughs> I got a Ryuji dog. We're knee deep in shit dealing with a Kenshi, and he gets to just laugh his ass off. Huh. I'm kind of jealous. Later. That was great. I don't think I could have gotten nearly as fun with uh, with uh, Haru. I know, um, I know I could have increased things with Haru, but, um, it could have also, uh, increased mm -hmm. the romance side of that, and I, I did not want to fuck that up when I already, quote-unquote, went down a romance path, so, took off somewhere during the festival, huh? I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quick. So what are you doing in front of the store? I need to call my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. It's just a catchy, but other stuff, too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside. Perfect timing. The mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. No countermeasure for the Phantom Thieves. The sorry- They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. 
But sir... I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their turn. I'll make myself clear again. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Oh, one more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur... To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? <laughs> yes. Everything is proceeding as planned. <laughs> Jiro? I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Explain. Is it something that you can't explain? <laughs> Ex hey, if this keeps up, we I'll explain everything. You will, huh? I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Was a... Well, a change of heart triggered in you? <laughs> How about it? Ever since Mom died, I... There was n no exit. I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it, but I, I couldn't do it by myself. Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. <laughs> Seriously? <sighs> Okaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too. Still. When did you notice? When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere, and even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow. I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. Sojiro. But to think that Wakaba's research and the Phantom Thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. I mean, that should have been pretty obvious, all things considered. Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking, that she might soon die in an odd way. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. 
There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart, the kid who brought that painting here was a... And then, there's... These scandals always seem to find their... These people are called criminals by the general public. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Asked? Stole? Uh, uh. Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? So, he's not connected with the Phantom Thieves, but is one himself? <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Believe what you want. Are you serious? You really are a phantom thief? Oh, for crying out loud. Sojiro. So, basically, I've been... And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. What the hell? I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? She was killed. I remember it now. Stop this nonsense. Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way mom died wasn't normal. Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro. she passed away I did think it was odd it was awfully fishy but what could I do all I was able to do was run from it all and the outcome of that was me spending my retirement here also the reason I took custody of you was me trying to selfishly atone for what happened to Wakaba it's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap it's not your fault Sojiro I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And in the end, I'm the one being consoled. <laughs> I'm hopeless and a laughingstock, aren't I? Ah, I mean... Yeah, you definitely went from understanding to accusatory pretty quick there, but... I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault. <sighs> I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. <laughs> I mean, who would believe such a story? <laughs> Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thief. <laughs> Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. Don't you get it? If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about that. Let's eat. I'm so hungry because I raised my voice so much. <laughs> Hunger works? Man, this explains a lot. <sighs> At least we avoided the worst case scenario of being reported arbitrarily. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Oh, I'm tired. But go home. Go to sleep. I wouldn't be receiving these messages, Popo. It wasn't okay. I feel the boss is no ordinary man. Didn't recommend you turn yourself in, considering we can consider him an ally? I'm more curious about what he mentioned. I mean, the enemy might be the same as those who targeted Futaba. Yeah, she was killed by a mental shutdown. The same method used as culprit we pursue. Wait a second though, didn't you say boss said to run away? Does that mean someone was trying to stop the news from getting out? Who could do that? Do you, who do you think a culprit could be? It's gotta be a government official. Ain't you letting your imagination run wild a bit? But it would make sense, wait a sec. If you're right, then wouldn't the police be working for him? That's not impossible. This is getting too big for me even to think about. We win this? We're gonna win no matter what.
All right, with all that said and done, and God, that was a lot today. Um, are you still over here, Padre? Uh, I don't think I can leave though. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> the sleep will double watches. Um, anyway. Uh, that's gonna do it for this, uh, uh, episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did, go make sure to check us out over on our social media. Give us a like, give us a follow. Make sure you know when we're going live, because we go and tweet it every time. And please remember to stay safe. It is a crazy world out there. Let's do it. Bye. Bye. Boop, boop.